Hey guys, so you're cruising along, you're driving in your car, you're listening to a podcast, and you're like, oh my gosh, this information is golden. Oh my gosh, this is life-changing information. You drive for 30 minutes, you just love it. You turn off your car, you get out, you go home, you go into your office, whatever, and then you're like, Oh, what was that? What were those points? Okay, I can remember two of them, but there was like five things. What were the five points? All right, I got to go back and listen to the podcast again with, with a pen and paper so I can write them down. How can you remember the details of a podcast while you're driving? All right. By the way, if you enjoy this video, I have a memory course that teaches you how to memorize anything, names, numbers, chapters of books, whatever. You can get a black belt in memory just like you can get a black belt in karate. Click the link down below and get my black belt memory course. I have a free gift there for you. But wait and watch this video on how to remember points from a podcast. So guys, this happens to me all the time. I love uh, history podcasts. Uh, uh, American History Tellers is a podcast I love on American history. And I'll be listening to it and they'll be talking about some things in American history. I'm like, oh, I want to remember that. And then if I'm not using a memory system, I'll get home and I can't remember the key points. There is a foundational concept in memory. And that foundational concept in memory says, whatever you want to remember, you need to store it in a place that you're familiar with. So I use something known as the mind palace or the memory palace to, to store data. And, and I know most of you have heard of this on my, on my channel, but I'm also gonna give you another, I'm gonna give you a, a mind palace and an, I'm gonna give you two options here. So even if you think you know everything about the mind palace, just bear with me for a second. And for those of you who don't know the mind palace, here it is. Imagine that this is your office right here. This is your office. So you number five pieces of furniture in your office. You make number one, the screen, number two, the microphone, number three, the table, uh, number four, the light over here, you can't see it, but there's a light. And number five, the computer over here, you can't see it, but there's a computer. So one, two, three, four, five. And you go around your house and you number 20 pieces of furniture that way. Or you go around your office and you number 20 pieces of furniture that way. And then you get it down to where you know that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five. Now you're driving in your car, you're listening to your, the podcast. And let's say you're listening to a podcast on, on how to be a better business person. And the first thing that they say is, well, to be a better business person, you need to be a good time manager. Well, this is your first location, right? In your mind palace. So you're driving in your car, you think back to this room. And the, the podcast says you need to be a better time manager. So you imagine a clock and the clock is popping out of this TV, cuckoo, cuckoo. And then you keep driving and the next point is the, on the podcast is they say a quote. And the, I says, here's a quote I read yesterday. It was in one of Tony Robbins books. And the quote was, uh, a healthy person has a thousand wishes. An unhealthy person has one. And it was an Indian proverb, but wow, that is powerful. So if I wanted to remember that on the microphone right here, since it's my second location, I would imagine a healthy person just trying to wish for everything and an unhealthy person laying down at the bottom of it, just wishing for health. Uh, and for that, I think it's somebody who's really sick. So over here, I review, I'm, st I'm still driving and I'm reviewing and I'm waiting for the next thing that I want to remember in the podcast. The next thing in the, in the podcast, maybe the person says, uh, you need to, you need to get this, this book by, by Tony Robbins or by Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And they mentioned that book on the podcast. Well, my next piece of furniture in my mind palace is the table. So I saw say somebody meeting a bunch of friends and they're high-fiving their friends to How to Win Friends and Influence People. Uh, and I wanna remember the author of the book's name was Carnegie. So I maybe I think of Carnegie Hall and I, I see all this interacting right here on this. So you could remember points of a podcast by thinking back to pieces of furniture in your house and placing them there. Now, I told you, for those of you who already know the Mind Palace method, an alternate method. If you want, use your body. Number parts of your body. Let's do it together. Number one at the top of your head. So everybody say one is top, two is nose, three is mouth, four is ribs, five is liver. Let's do five. We'll say it again. One is top, two is nose, three is mouth, four is ribs, five is liver. We'll do it one more time. One is top, two is nose, three is mouth, four is rib, five is liver. So, and by the way, why do we call five liver and not stomach? Well, that'll make sense later when you buy my black belt memory course. <laughs> You don't have to, but it's a good investment. The link's in below in the, in the, in the description. But now let's say you're driving and let's say you don't want to store the data on, on, your, on pieces of furniture in your office. You want to store them on your body. So it's the same podcast. You're driving in your car and the podcast says you need to be a good time manager. So you see a clock on the top of your head. Cuckoo, cuckoo. You drive more and there's the quote that you want to remember. A 
healthy person has a thousand wishes. An unhealthy person has one. Maybe you see a healthy person standing on your nose and they have a thousand wishes and an unhealthy person laying right here on, on your mustache or your lip and they, they have only one wish. You're driving again and the next quote is how to win friends and influence people. You want to get that book and it's by Dale Carnegie. What's the next location? Your mouth. You see yourself, you open your mouth and you imagine Carnegie Hall in your mouth. Now, let's say you do this. You, you store the podcast points in your house or on your, on your body. Then you get home, you get to your office, whatever, you get out a piece of paper and you can write it all down. You could have memorized 10 or 15 points from that podcast while you were driving. And then when you get home in your office, you can write them down or tap it in your journal or put it in your book. It doesn't have to be for long term. It's just something that helps you remember the key points long enough while you're driving so when you get home you can write it down and put it in your journal or whatever guys this not only works for a podcast but this works for a me I, i've used this in this room in an interview i was i've interviewed a, a ufc fighter victor altamirano go to my youtube channel and watch my interview with ufc fighter victor altamirano victor was talking in that interview and he said things in that interview that were good i didn't want to interrupt him right then and say hey stop 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 so I just let him keep talking, but I stored the data on the top of my head and my nose, my mouth, my ribs, my liver. And then whenever it, he paused and it was a good time to interject, then I said, Hey, Victor, you know, a minute ago you said this, and I want to ask you about that. So not only could you use it for a podcast while you're driving, you're in a meeting with somebody and they're talking and you don't want to, you don't, you can't stop and write down while they're talking, but you want to remember what they're saying, either to remember it later, to write it down later, or to ask them a question, the stored on your body. You're at a conference or a workshop. Somebody says something stored on your body, stored in your mind palace. This is a great way to remember conversations, something people to say podcast, Take the data you want to remember, see it as a picture, and attach it to something, your mind palace or your body, and then you can always go and write it down later. Guys, these are just a few ideas on how to memorize a podcast, how to remember conversations, how to remember things, what people say, how to improve your memory. If you want to get my full memory course, Black Belt Memory, click the link down below in the description. I'll have a free gift there for you, but also you can get my Black Belt Memory course and improve your memory. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to this channel. I plead all, appreciate all subscribes, and I'll see you on the next video if you subscribe.